Hello and welcome to Let's Play Homeworld. Homeworld is a well-known game that changed in many ways the perception of strategy games. But I'm pretty sure there are some of you that never heard about it or never played it as it came out in 1999. So I'm gonna try to give you a bit of background info. The game was made by Sierra, as I said it came out in 1999, and it is a first true 3D real-time strategy ever. It was awarded numerous awards, man that sounded weird, <laughs> for its uh, music, for its story, for its design, for many other ways. Uh, it got so much applause that it got a standalone expansion and then Homeworld 2. Now since I started uh, my channel I knew that it was a must to do this game sooner or later and I'm glad to do this as an um, intermediate let's play that will have a priority for some time on my channel until finished. The story of Homeworld revolves about a civilization that comes from Karak system where they live and struggle on a barren desert planet where there is sparse water, minerals, resources and well, pretty much everything. It's, it's just a desert, a horrifying desert. But they manage to struggle through and then one day their world entirely change changes and this is their story i'm gonna do my best to uh, give you all the cinematics and all the background as it came to me so there will be no major spoilers or at least i will try to and i will furiously delete any spoilers from you in the comments with that said, I hope that you will join me for this fabulous uh, game, and without further ado, let's start. There are two major choices that you can go with. Uh, there might be a cushion or titan design. I was always a cushion and I always enjoyed it more, so we are going to go with that one. The base color will be red and the stripe color will be white. And now we can start. One hundred years ago, a satellite detected an object under the sands of the Great Desert. An expedition was sent. An ancient starship buried in the sand. Deep inside the ruin was a single stone that would change the course of our history forever. On the stone was etched a galactic map and a single word more ancient than the clans themselves. Higara. Our home. The clans were united and a massive colony ship was designed. Construction would take 60 years. It would demand new technologies, new industries and new sacrifices.
The greatest of these was made by the scientist Karen Sajet, who had herself permanently integrated into the colony ship as its living core. She is now Fleet Command. The promise of the Guidestone united the entire population. Every mind became focused on the true origin of our people. Every effort on the construction of the ship that would seek it out among the stars. This is Fleet Command. Reporting Mothership pre-launch status. Command online. Resourcing online. Construction online. Cryogenic subsections A through J online. K through S online. Scaffold control, stand by for alignment. Alignment confirmed. Stand by, release control. The ship has cleared the scaffold. We are away. Stand by for command line testing. System. Fleet intelligence going online. Our task is to analyze all sensor data and generate mission objectives. Before the hyperdrive test, several trials must be completed. Test construction by building the primary research ship. Test resource processing by harvesting the asteroids provided nearby. Hyperspace module charging. 35% capacity and rising. The mothership will be ready for the hyperdrive test in 10 minutes. Stand by to begin combat trials. First, we will be monitoring formation performance. Target drones have been provided here. Assign a formation to your fighters and destroy the drones. Okay, so I believe this is all that we are given for now. The game is divided into missions. This is mission number one that takes place in Karak system. This is our Karak planet. As you can see, it is beautiful. Nothing like a great desert. But hopefully, we will soon find Higara, our home. Now. Just a couple of words uh, in the start. These are 
our scouts. This is our resource collector. Resource collectors give you resources. We have 750 research, uh, resource units now. Uh, they collect resources by harvesting these asteroids. So let's send this one to harvest. There's a shortcut for it on uh, the keyboard which I will use from now on. Just wanted to show you the menu. Now we have a couple of testing uh, missions. Uh, we need to harvest asteroids. We are doing that right now. We need to build a research Mother ship. Shit. These are the possibilities we have now in the build manager. Just a basic scout, which is the weakest fighting um, ship in the game. Then we have a salvage corvette, we will need that one later on. Then we can build a resource collector and we can build a research ship. So let's start with that right underway. now. That's our task. Now as you can see the game is full 3D, which was revolutionary at the time. Uh, you can either move around in this, I would call this uh, the main game uh, view, or you can use the tactical map, which you can see here. We can move in around and up or down. This brought many possibilities and will be quite important at many times because uh, certain ships are weaker from certain si uh, for certain angles. So if you, for example, attack them from behind or bottom, uh, they are much weaker. Last thing that I probably didn't uh, mention. Well, mothership. this is this is the mothership. You already know that this is the scaffold where the mothership was built, and these are the colonists that Research we will complete. take. Uh, to Higara later on. The primary research ship has been constructed. The research division is online. Begin fighter chassis research immediately. Reporting for duty. As you can see the resource collector is coming. It will dock with the mothership shortly and transfer its resource units to us. I think it already harvested all there was to harvest so it will transfer those units to us now. Transfer yep, we now have 650 resource units. Mothership. Uh, so what were we supposed to do? Oh yes, the fighter chassis. This one will give us uh, the second... Available resources consumed. Yes, there's nothing to harvest, uh, nothing left to harvest. This Commencing will... heavy fighter chassis research. The f uh, fighter heavy chassis research will give us uh, the possibility to build interceptors, which are my probably one of my favorite units in the game. I don't use scouts at all, though they are really fast and agile. I prefer interceptors, who are slightly slower, slightly less agile, but have more um, firepower. So it is time to finish our uh, mission, where we have uh, to destroy drones over there. So let's send our uh, fighters there. We have a lot of possibilities regarding uh, the attacks. Right now we are supposed to uh, test the formations. We have Delta, Broad, X, Claw, Wall, Sphere and Custom uh, Formation. Each of these have certain uses. I will probably most of the time use uh, Wall, X, or Sphere. Sphere is a defensive formation where uh, you can protect a heavy ship uh, surrounded with, uh, for example, uh, multiple corvettes that will pro uh, provide support from fighters, while the heavy ship in the middle will be uh, able to target another heavy ship. But for now, let's go with, uh, for example, the wall formation. I like that one the most. Let's attack these three drones over there and dispose of them. And there we go. They are gone. So let's go about and change the formation to X and destroy four more. Reporting. 
The scouts, I believe, have... Yeah, they have limited fuel, so they must be refueled from time to time. Otherwise, they will lose... Attack and fleet entering holding batter. Uh, like 95% of their speed, and Heavy that fighter is chassis research bad for something like that. Interceptor available for construction. Let's go with a claw formation right now, which is similar to X, uh, with the exception that it has uh, 3D. No, it's uh, it's virtual an X uh, that looks like a claw. Oh, I don't know what I'm trying to explain there, really. <laughs> That's quite self-explanatory. Uh, okay, we have finished uh, the secondary objective. And we are now going to dispose of these drones. And we should get another mission right now that will uh, test the tactics. Formation trial complete. Flight analysis shows a 22% increase in combat performance. The next trial will test the effectiveness of tactics. Stand by to begin tactics trial. Use aggressive or evasive tactics and engage the target drones here. Okay, will do. So let's move slightly closer. Tactics are another way how to influence combat. Uh, we have neutral, which we had up until now. Then there's evasive and aggressive. First I'm going to show you aggressive, where we will target these drones. The fighters will not evade, they will do most uh, damage possible. These tactics are useful when um, attacking defenseless ships or uh, very slow heavy ships. But these tend to have nasty guns that, uh, you know, your ships have to evade. Now, logical evasive tactics uh, mean that your ships will break formation and try to disperse around, evade incoming fire as much as possible, and make most of their um, speed. They fire less, but move more. And I think that they might be slightly faster as well, uh, but I'm not entirely sure, so I don't count on that. You see that they are flying all around the place. So basically evasive means that they will break formation and attack from all angles, trying to confuse the enemy and dispersing the fire. Destroyed. Holding pattern locked in. Okay, we finished another objective. What's next? Oh, the salvage corvette, yes. Tactics trial complete. The next trial will test the performance of the salvage corvette. Build one and capture the target drone here. Okay, so let's move with our ships back to the mothership, mothership and build a salvage corvette. Now here you can see that we have the scout and the interceptor. The difference is quite massive. Scout has only 12 firepower while interceptor has 28. Maneuverability is very high for both, but maximum velocity is slightly smaller for interceptor. While scout has a thousand meters per second, Interceptor has only 875. Coverage is the same 12%. Armor is slightly higher for Interceptor while Scout has 110 tons. Or 110, sorry, 110 armor. Interceptor has 160. The mass is 10 tons while Scout has 8. Uh, the Salvage Corvette has 1500 armor and mass of 400 tons so you can see that it's 40 times bigger than the Interceptor. We should finish the Salvage Corvette soon. Did you finish everything? Really? Yes, we have nothing left to... Research. Now you guys will dock with the Mothership and refuel. 
Ready for orders. And you, my good, lovely salvage corvette, will move against the probe and try to salvage it. Here you can see the scouts docking of the mothership. They're pretty neat. I remember watching the 3D graphics over and over and I still have the feeling of nostalgia when I'm playing this. Salvage Corvette will now do its best using its magnets of power. Okay, it's burning its fuel as well. Okay, the scouts are refueled and they're coming out. Closing in. And here we go. We captured the drone. Now it will be taken to the mothership and analyzed. As it is our own, Responding. there isn't really anything we will learn from that, but you know, it's a test mission. The interceptors are aligned. Oh, not the interceptor scouts are aligned out and prepared to serve in more trials. I'm not sure if we have... Yeah, and that seems like we finished everything pretty much. Okay, we just need to... recover the drone and we will be done. I think this is the last trial in this trial mission, but I might be wrong, I'm not entirely sure. We shall see. Okay buddy, now in you go. And it is in. Mothership. Gotcha. Stand by for a hyperdrive test. Internal pressure doors sealed. Abort system standing by. Hyperspace module fully charged. I'm ready to initiate quantum wave generation on your mark. Good luck, everyone. All sections have reported in. We are clear to proceed. Trigger the hyperspace drive at your discretion. Okay, we can now do the hyperspace jump, but before we go, I want to build some more interceptors. Production underway. Because we might need them. Who knows what will await us in the next mission. So let's just wait for those uh, to be built, and then we can move on to mission number two. Where we will emerge, or maybe not, from a hyperdrive test. Okay, you can see the difference between interceptor and scout is quite big. Uh, it really looks different. The interceptor, though, has some really massive firepower against the scout. Responding. So we will eventually uh, use these as a sorry I accidentally tapped out of the game <laughs> um, we will use this as a scout for me well you will use the scouts as scouts how about that and the interceptors will be our main line of defense while we might lose the scouts quite fast, we will not rebuild them, because there's another Mothership. thing you can build, which is called the probe, and that perfectly fits our uh, tasks that we would use the scouts for. I really never use them, to be honest, but there are certain 
uh, certain places where they might be used for their one use only they cost only for their uh, resource units and you send them out and at a certain place they will stop and work as well as a probe <laughs> what are you expecting uh, that I will say okay we will have seven scouts Reporting. and seven interceptors it's pretty neat interceptor complete Group 2 okay. designated. We got group 1 and group 2. Now I'm gonna save this. We'll call this... Oh, let's... Play. Oh, let's avoid... Uh, the apostrophe. Let's play safe. Yes, we got the let's play safe. And now we will do the hyperspace jump. Auto docking. Where... Every ship now needs to dock with the mothership, and once they're in, we will do the hyperdrive test, basically. So peaceful. Goodbye, Carrick. We'll see you soon after our, let's hope, successful jump drive test. Oh man, this brings back memories of uh, the alpha operation in Aurora <laughs> and the jump drive test yeah, there you go little shippies go inside we have acquisition you can always abort you have that option so no need to be scared by that In you go. Resource. No, not resource. Research ship is going last. Man, that thing is slow. And there we go. Goodbye, Carrick. We'll see you soon. All hyperspace systems operating at full power. If the hyperspace targeting system is accurate, we will emerge in close proximity to the support vessel Car Salim. This ship has spent the past 10 years traveling on conventional drives to reach the outer Karak system. The Car Salim will monitor the quantum waveform as we return to normal space and assist in tuning our drive control systems. If the hyperspace module malfunctions, the Car Salim will provide assistance and resupply. Mission objectives will be to dock with the support vessel in order to complete adjustments to the mothership and her drives.